The state's highest court issued a ruling today limiting state lawmakers' power to change the Constitution if they themselves were elected unconstitutionally. It's the first such limit of its kind in state history. The vote was along party lines. Our Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie reports Republican lawmakers say they're going to fight this. The ruling came out of a legal challenge to two constitutional amendments passed in 2018, requiring photo voter ID and capping the state income tax. Lawmakers put them on the ballot after dozens of their districts had already been found unconstitutional. The high court ruled that lawmakers elected from unconstitutional districts due to racial gerrymandering cannot just turn around and change the Constitution to keep themselves in power or to permanently disadvantage the minority they discriminated against when they drew the maps. Plaintiff's attorney Kim Meyer said that's exactly what GOP lawmakers did. What the legislature did here was racially gerrymandered, the largest racial gerrymander ever. Um, and then on the eve of being um, reformed into a, a constitutional legislature, put these amendments on the ballot to try and further entrench their power through things like um, mandatory uh, photo voter ID. The ruling sends the case back to trial court with instructions that make it likely both amendments will be thrown out. Folks that really ought to be upset are, are the voters who took their time, who went to the polls and who voted for voter ID. This court has basically just said their votes did not matter, and that is wrong. Republican House Speaker Tim Moore called the ruling a political hack job by four Democrats. This kind of ruling has never happened that we can find in the history of the country in any state. I mean, they have created whole cloth wall and overturned you know, decades of precedent that have been in place. Moore said the judges violated the separation of powers by limiting the power of lawmakers. But Meyer said that's how checks and balances work. This is exactly why we have a state Supreme Court, is they have to come in and occasionally um, check uh, what the legislature or what the governor is doing to ensure they comply with our Constitution. Laura Leslie, WRAL News, Raleigh. Speaker Moore says he is considering appealing today's ruling to the U.S. Supreme Court. The nation's highest court has already agreed to hear another challenge to an earlier state Supreme Court ruling on gerrymandering.